In this screencast, we're going to do an example problem using density. So we're going to consider this container here of heavy cream. So here we have cream, and it has a density that we're going to call rho 1, which is 1,005 kilograms per meter cubed and we're going to whip up this cream into a bowl so that its volume is three times the volume of the original cream. And what we want to know is what is the specific gravity of the whipped cream and what is the specific weight of the cream. So the first thing we know is that the mass has to stay constant. So m1 is equal to m2. And we can rewrite this as rho1, the density, times the volume 1 is equal to rho2 times volume 2, which is equal to rho2. And here we're going to replace v2 with 3 times v1. So that shows us that rho 2 is just equal to rho 1 divided by 3. And so now, because we're looking for the specific gravity, we're going to divide by the reference density. And the reason we do this is that specific gravity is equal to the rho of whatever your fluid is divided by the reference density. And our reference density for a liquid or solid is water at 4 degrees C, which is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. So if we do that, if we divide both of those by 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, we get that the specific gravity of our whipped cream is equal to rho 1 divided by 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, and this is divided by 3. And so this is equal, since this is equal to 1,005 kilograms per meter cubed, the specific gravity of the whipped cream is equal to 0 0.335. And note that that is unitless. So now we want to find the specific weight, which is equal to rho 2 times g, gravity, which is equal to the specific gravity times, and again, this is how you find the density, you take the specific gravity now and multiply it by the reference density, 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, and we multiply this by gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, and we just put in the number that we found for our specific gravity and multiply this out. And what we end up with is a value here of 3,283. Now take a look here at the units. This is the units here, kilograms per meter cubed. And here we have meters per second squared. So we're going to change this into kilogram meter per second squared times 1 over meter cubed. This is a Newton, so our answer comes out to be 3,283 Newtons per meter cubed. Note that we never had to solve for the second density, but if we had to, all we do is take the specific gravity, 0.335, multiply it by the 1,000 
kilograms per meter cubed and get 335 kilograms per meter cubed. Or we also know here, we just have to take that first density and divide it by three.